Useful Role of Bacteria in Medicine Welcome to the new session of Economic Importance of Bacteria and Fungi. In our present session, let us learn about Useful Role of Bacteria in Medicine. In medicine, bacteria are used in different ways. But the role of bacteria is vital in the production of antibiotics, serum and vaccines. So, now let us learn about the role of bacteria in production of antibiotics. Generally, most of us, on visit to our physician when we are sick, might have heard about antibiotics which are prescribed as medicines for our sickness. Did you ever think what antibiotics are? In definition, an antibiotic is a chemical substance produced by a living organism which can stop the growth of some disease producing bacteria and fungi. Can you list out some of the antibiotics you heard so far? Most of us had heard about penicillin. Penicillin is an antibiotic produced from the bacterial sources. In similar way, streptomycin, chloromycetin and tetracycline, etc are all bacterial sourced antibiotics. In medical history, penicillin is the first produced antibiotic. To the fact, penicillin is not the product of bacterium, but it is the product of mold, fungus. In the year 1929, the scientist Alexander Fleming was growing some bacteria in a culture, but he observed the culture was destroyed due to accidental contamination of a mold Penicillium notatum. Thus, he discovered that some substance that is produced from the mold fungus had suppressed the growth of many bacteria in the culture and named the substance as penicillin. This penicillin is used as first antibiotic for medical use. In similar way, the scientist Selman Walksman discovered another antibiotic named streptomycin. This antibiotic is a bacterial source from Streptomyces gracious. Now, let us learn some of the known antibiotics and their sources and diseases treated by them. Antibiotic Source Organism Disease treated. Penicillin. Penicillium chrysogenum. A mold. Disease treated. Tetanus. Diphtheria. Streptomycin. Streptomyces gracious. Disease treated. Tuberculosis. Chlorotetracycline, Streptomyces, Aerofascians, Disease Treated Typhoid, Erythromycin, Streptomyces, Erythraeus, Rickettsial Fevers. Now, let us learn about criteria of a good antibiotic. A good antibiotic should be able to kill a variety of disease-producing microorganisms. A good antibiotic should not produce any undesirable side effects on usage of it. A good antibiotic should not kill normal bacteria in the host. Some other uses of antibiotics. Antibiotics are also used as food preservatives for fresh meat and fish. Antibiotics are used for treating animal feed. Antibiotics are also used in controlling plant pathogens.